yelling. When I was going through a career change, it motivated me to change some habits, like yelling. The last time we met, we all decided that we wanted to change at least one habit. The question was, how? My adventure began when a friend introduced me to a book about a triathlete who was riding his bicycle in a triathlon in a van going the wrong way, crashed into him going 40 miles an hour. The triathlete was airlifted to the hospital where he was diagnosed with a broken back and that he would never be able to walk again unless he had radical surgery that included having two steel rods inserted into his back. Dr. Joe, who's also a chiropractor, rejected surgery and embarked on an adventure to heal himself through meditation and mental rehearsal. Several studies had been performed to prove that mental rehearsal actually works. In our last coaching session, I described a study where people who mentally rehearsed, practiced one-handed piano exercises, experienced almost the same level of proficiency as people who physically practiced the same exercises on the piano. In another study, people who mentally rehearsed shooting basketballs from the free throw line experienced almost the same level of capability as people who physically shot the basketball. There are three steps to self-improvement. Step one is preparation. You're going to read thought-provoking material about the subject that you want to change about yourself so you have more knowledge. Next, you're going to secure a quiet space. You're going to close your eyes, breathe deeply, hold your breath, five to 15 seconds. And then exhale. You're going to do this five to six times until your mind is relaxed and you're in a place of nowhere and you're only focusing on your breath. Step two is creation. As you rest in this place of nowhere where your mind is still and you're focusing only on your breath, you're going to begin to mentally rehearse the new behavior until it's inserted into your subconscious. Before we continue, let me explain why this place of nowhere is so important. Imagine this is you in this circle. And you have incoming information from all sectors of your life. Your spiritual, your family, your friends, your networks, your work, finances, health, and leisure. And this information consumes you every day. Filling you up and leaving you no time for yourself. That's why we want to carve out this place called nowhere. Preferably in the morning before your day gets hectic so you can create the new you. Maybe you want to stop anger. You're in a parking lot. You got your blinker on. And you're waiting for a car to vacate that space. When they do, another car whips in front of you, <laughs> knowing you've been waiting. Your initial response is outrage. You start honking the horn. You may even want to confront the perpetrator. Instead of getting angry, you recognize that old behavior in your meditation. How dare somebody pull in front of you? Didn't they see me? And change it to in your mental rehearsal. In the grand scheme of life, it's not that important. I'll find another parking space. It's critical that whatever you want to change to is more important than behaving the old way. Step three is ask. You're going to ask divine intelligence, 
the universe to send you a sign that your request to stop anger are on the right path. And then you're going to observe how that new behavior shows up into your life. And when it does, you're going to write down the date that you experienced that new behavior to prove your mental rehearsal is working. Continue journaling until you've inserted that new program into your subconscious. There are three steps to self-improvement. Preparation, creation, and ask. I call it P C A. Remember Dr. Joe? The chiropractor who didn't want steel rods inserted into his back? He healed himself through his meditation and mental rehearsal practice. And today travels the world giving workshops that create a bridge between human potential and the latest research on neuroscience. My own experience with Dr. Joe's program is it has helped me lower my stress, significantly reduce my back pain, and stop yelling. Hmm. If self-improvement is more important than repeating the same patterns, Find a method that works for you, because there's many out there. Or go to drjoedispenza.com and learn more about his teachings. Because behaving the old way will not open any new doors, but new ways 